everyone, and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. A very rotten mindset has taken over in many quarters in the Catholic Church. Call it mixing bowl Catholicism. It's the idea that you can accept some bad along with the good and pretty much call it a day. Just mix it all together, no big deal. It's a perversion of the perennial understanding of tolerance. Evil can be tolerated, tolerated in certain circumstances when there is no other choice, while at the same time you are working your tail off to end the evil that you are forced to temporarily tolerate. But that is not what's going on in the church these days. The evil mix is being accepted, but no one is doing much of anything to end the prevailing conditions. Take, for example, the choice that loads of parishes are using to teach the faith. Teach in air quotes, believe me. Two particular programs have wide acceptance in many dioceses and are absolutely off the mark when it comes to the faith. The first we'll spotlight is the Alpha course, the Alpha program. It's a rotten way for Catholics to learn the faith because, well, it doesn't teach Catholics the faith. It was drawn up by a Protestant minister and pretty much never leaves the realm of all religions are more or less equal paths to God. Total hogwash. In fact, it is so inadequate that not a few parishes have actually had to modify it and add on a Catholic component. See, that's stupid and exactly what we're talking about when we say mixing bowl Catholicism. Why would you tolerate inadequate catechesis to the point where you had to go in and edit it when there are splendid, fantastic, authentically Catholic, 100% pure courses out there available right now at this very moment, like Father John Harden's Marian Catechism, or the Didache series, or the ever-valuable Baltimore Catechism. You want to learn the faith? You want to teach the faith? Then why not get it from people who know the faith? But here's the excuse you hear. Oh, those catechisms are scary for Protestants, so we want to make it less threatening for them by easing them into it with material that sounds more familiar to them. Then add on the Catholic stuff at the end. Well, aside from being kind of dishonest and disingenuous, it's also reflective, once again, of that mixing bowl approach. Mixing in the bad with the good and calling it a day. Tolerating it. How utterly un-Catholic sacrificing the glory and the beauty and most importantly the purity of the Catholic faith given to us by the Son of God with this watered down stuff. Another rotten program is called Just Faith, which is almost utterly devoid of any actual Catholic theology and instead presents the faith as a means for creating a heaven on earth through various so-called, so-called, social justice initiatives which happen to coincide with liberal governing policies. No one who is introduced to the Catholic faith through this horrible program would ever walk out more attuned to his spiritual destiny than when he walked in. Probably walk out more confused. Again, mixing bad with the good and calling it a day. Although in the case of the just faith material, it's questionable if there's much good in it at all. Again, the question, why are parishes going for the impure rather than the pure when they can have the pure? In the teaching regarding tolerance, the underlying premise is that you tolerate, you put up with the evil because there is no other choice, no better choice. In the case of Catholic instruction, that is manifestly not the case. We already mentioned three awesome programs for learning the faith that parishes and small groups could easily implement in less than an hour. In fact, it's the reason we started this apostolate, our sister organization to churchmilitant.tv, St. Michael's Media. St. Michael's Media has produced more than 400 hours of programming, which we are continually adding to, and we make it available on our premium channel, available for just $10 a month. We'd like to ask you, appeal to you, to please sign up for a premium subscription so you Not can learn more about the faith and become passage. more dedicated in the life of the faith. You know, you in the last 50 years, leaders in the church have gone from essentially no catechesis to bad, compromised catechesis, and you wonder which is worse. There's only one faith. There's only one truth. There's only one true faith. It has to be said clearly, directly, and honestly. It can't be tossed into the mixing bowl and have untruth added to it to make it more palatable. That betrays a lack of faith, trust, and hope that the Holy Spirit can move hearts. 
The apostles didn't preach like that. Our blessed Lord didn't preach like that. The saints didn't preach like that. The doctors of the faith and the church didn't preach like that. The fathers didn't preach like that. Nobody who is in heaven ever preached like that. We need to develop an intensity of purity about the faith, period. The Catholic Church teaches all truth. We don't need garbage-filled impurity being added to it, whatever the reason or motive, well-intentioned or not. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. That is the cry of a Catholic warrior. If you want to deepen your faith and adopt the spirit of a Catholic warrior who is well-prepared intellectually as well as spiritually, then we would ask you to please sign up for a premium account here at Church Militant. It's an easy way to explore the faith much more deeply for just $10 a month, less than the price of a cup of coffee a week. All you have to do is just click on the link to join. Remember, the faith at your fingertips, not to mention, also available on Roku for just $10 a month. Thank you in advance, and please keep our work here in your prayers. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.